It's video time. Don't forget to turn on the mic. Okay, going to tweet. Fimming in progress. Recording now. There we go. What's up everyone, Matesh here with Mtech, and what you guys just saw was an example of a custom routine in Google Assistant and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up one of your own so you can get Google to do a bunch of things with just one command. So routines have been built into Google Assistant for a while now but they've been set. There's only been six options and those were just set so you couldn't make your own routines. But with Google Ads that just happened last week, they also just released custom routines so you can set up your own routines to have Google do whatever you want with just one command. So I'm, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to set one up for yourself. And I'm gonna be using an example of what I just did. So I've already deleted that routine, so I'm gonna show you guys how to set that up. All right, so to do this, you're gonna need an Android phone or an iPhone with the Google Home app. So to start off, you can either go to the Google Home app or go to the assistant on an Android phone. And you just need to be able to get to the settings. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. You can go click on settings and yeah, there's a settings menu right there. So from there, you're gonna scroll down until you see the one that's called routines. It looks like a sun slash moon icon, and then you click on that, and then you'll see the six routines that are there. So you have good morning, bedtime, leaving home, I'm home, commuting to work, and commuting home. So those are the standard words, but now you can see that there's a plus button down here in the corner. So when you hit that plus button, it'll take you to a new routine that you can set up for yourself. So now you can set up when I say and then you add the commands there. So if that is required, you're going to have to add at least one command. And for me, I like it's video time. Oops. Eh. I could type. It's video time. Or you can add a secondary command if you don't always want to say that. So let's say uh, time to record or something, whatever. That's good enough for me. Two commands is good enough, but you can set up a whole bunch. So after that, you can start telling what actions assistant should do. So I can start by adding actions. So you can either start up by typing your own action or you can do that choose popular action. So for my first one, I'm gonna click that one because I wanna first thing I wanna do is to turn on my studio light. So I'm gonna click on that and then hit that little settings icon on the right. And then you can see I have my two studio lights. I don't have that many home automated things in my house. so. These two are the things, and I'm, I'm going to set it to turn them on. So there we go. So I've got that. I just hit the add button, and then that's done. I actually, what you can do, and you can just call it there, good there, but you can also add more action. So what else I wanted to do, I wanted to also set my phone to silent. So I want to put my phone on silent because I don't want any interruptions when I'm recording. So I'll add that. And then I also want to add... And I really, I could have done all this in one step. I don't know why I'm taking it to multiple steps, but I also want it to tell me to turn on my microphone because my microphone requires a, it a, has an on-off switch and I sometimes I forget to turn it on and all my footage is gone. So, so I want it to tell me to don't forget to turn on the mic. There we go. So now it will tell me that. So that's three things. Some of the other things I had was I also had a broadcast throughout my house so I'm gonna set it up one more time you can see it's communication so it's broadcast I'm home broadcast I'm on the way home but if it if you don't see what you want to do there you can also just set up your own commands so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that so I'm gonna tell it to broadcast or yeah I really should try, stop trying to type that way it's really not working for me broadcast uh, recording now now add that and then we'll add one more action because I also like to tweet out that I'm filming is in progress just because I think it's a little fun to do. Now this one, I have it set up with if this and that. So some of you, this may not work for some of you if you guys don't have this applet turned on. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to have it say tweet filming. And this thing will take it literally. So I'm going to go ahead and capitalize that filming in progress exclamation point and hit add and there you go and now you can either have it also you can also add it to play media and things like that so like in the morning when you say good morning after it's done telling you about your day and whatever you can also have it play music play the news or whatever so that's also why it's there but once you're done with that you just hit a little check mark at the top and then it's done so now I have one called it's video time when I do that one 
it will go through all the actions as you guys just saw. But I also want to add one more, just for my own sake, which is called video, video done recording. We'll call it done recording because that's easy to remember. And then what I want a system to do, I'm going to choose from popular actions. So I wanted to turn off my lights. Check. I want it to put my take my phone off silent. And then I want it to remind me to turn off the microphone. So don't forget to turn off the microphone so I don't kill my battery life on that. Kill the batteries on it. Turn off the mic. Okay, so that's all good. And then just hit the add button and then it'll add all of those things that I just did. And then you can also rearrange. So if you wanted to do one before the other. So for example, if I wanted to take my phone off silent before I turn off the lights, I can do that. I don't particularly care about that one, but yeah, you can definitely do that. And I also wanted to go ahead and tweet out uh, without the quotation mark. Filming done. Add. Okay, there we go. Now we hit that check mark. So now I've got two, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. Let's see. It's a live demo. We'll see how it goes. Done recording. Done. Mm. Okay, so the issue is the fact that I'm recording my screen. So let's just go ahead and try to get my Google Home over here to do it. Done recording. To take your phone off silent, start this routine directly on your phone. Don't forget to turn off the mic. Okay, going to tweet. Filming done. So there you guys go. Let me go ahead and turn it back on. Video time. I found a few locations for mm. video time See? for you. See, sometimes... The first one is just in time audio video. I'll see it's... It's video time. Sorry, I don't know how to help with that yet. It's super weird. That should have worked. Let's record some video. I can't take videos yet. Okay, let's find out why that's not working. Because that's weird that it's not working. Settings. Let's go back to routine. What did I say? It's video time or time to record. Time to record. So you know, oh. if you'd like me to put your phone on silent, I need you to start this routine using your Android phone. Sorry about that. Don't forget to turn on the mic. Okay, going to tweet. Filming in progress. Yeah. All right, so there you guys go. That's how you set up a custom routine in Google Home or Google Assistant rather because you can also do it on your phone even if you don't have a Google Home. So yeah, I find this super useful because like I, like I just showed you guys, when I'm ready to record video, it's just one command and everything that I need is ready to go. So yeah, if you guys can find somewhere to use this in your life, definitely you should take advantage of this. All right, so that's pretty much all I have for you guys in this one. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys are planning on doing with it. If you guys have any custom routines that you guys were planning on setting up, let me know what you guys are using it for. But yeah, if you guys liked it, go ahead and hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe if you guys want to see more videos like this. But that's pretty much all I have for you guys in this one. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.